Welcome to another episode of the Dragon Age Inquisition series and you can see we're off in the hinterlands and I've been completing some quests. I've done a couple things like I found a bunch of shard, fought some rogue templars. For those refugees, right? We still must deal with the rebel mages, however. Found a treasure behind a waterfall. Over here, I've cleared out this map. I died trying to get this rift. that that one's hard but I never remember just how hard that one is <laughs> I guess we'll do that one later <laughs> I've cleared out some quests over here picked up a bunch of shards over here so I think now we're gonna go over up to this here quest God, I was trying not to say here again <laughs> and I threw it in at the very end so we did find this person earlier she's up in this little alcove over here and then we found a weird glass thing a couple episodes ago next to a dead person that and it had a note attached to it so let's go ahead and give this to her i have heard stories about you herald of andraste i am enchanter elendra i hope you find a way to end this foolish war i'm trying uh let's give her this i believe this is your phylactery I found it on the body of a dead Templar named Matrin. Ah, oh, I suspected he died when he did not join me or send word. Make a curse the fools who started this war, and the fools who now fight it. Thank you. Matrin was important to me. Here, for your trouble. Thank you. Let's see if we can get her to join us. The Inquisition could use the skills of a powerful mage. If I wished to kill others, I would have joined the rebels. How is the Inquisition any better? Ooh. You, over there, Vivian, you, you got uh, anything to say? The Inquisition is our chance to restore order, Enchanter. Without it, we'll be no better than apostates. Madame Vivienne, court mage of the Empress of Orlais. I am honored. And if you back the Inquisition, so shall I. My skills are yours. Just give me a moment to gather my things. I mean, it must be better than sleeping in this cave. Welcome to the Inquisition. Uh, I don't know if you guys caught that, but that gave us an improves from Vivienne and a disapproves from Solus. So there's a lot of times that that'll happen because all our characters are very diverse and they have very different opinions. So that was another power. <laughs> Uh, we did get some of the table quests in because it's been a long time since I've played, so they're all done. So I'm going to go ahead and head back there and see how much more power we need to continue with the main quest. So, I noticed you crept back to the tent rather late last night. And if I did? I hope for your sake you aren't sniffing around after that iron bull. I simply wanted to thank him for having his healer give such good advice. We've saved some lives thanks to him. And that's why you're walking so funny. I thanked him a few times. Then later he thanked me back. It was a very grateful night all around. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, you're terrible. Well, I'm glad they had a good night. <laughs> Let's go 
ahead and see what's on the table. I'm gonna say since the table is glowing green that we probably have what we need. Oh no, deciding inquisition perks. Have you kept I hate in touch this. with our friends in Lady Esterly's estate? Several bards will play for her tomorrow night. We will have names soon enough. You guys are working hard. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go through these and see what perk I want. All right, so I think I'm going to go with history knowledge. I kind of want to get the f uh, four types of new dialogue op options opened and the extra XP for each codex entry found. Again, because later game you find those less, so we should be getting as much XP for finding them early game. And I think I want to go with history knowledge. There we go. Good. And then let's go into here and see what we've completed. Ah, so we sent someone out, or we hired people to find what the Red Jenny wanted us to find, which is Sarah. We found the weapon plans and a place to supply us with bees. When the idea was presented, the beekeeper tented his fingers and sneered, of course. Quite disturbing. So now we can make a jar of bees. And then I think we did something over here, yes. So we used Josephine to utilize the Grave Warden Treaties. And she, she says, I was correct. Spreading word with the Inquisition was allied with the Grey Wardens, but messages of support poured in. With the treaties in hand, we've managed to secure new recruits and donations in both gold and equipment. The commander will make good use of them. Thank you. And it looks like we have a new uh, piece of armor that we can equip, which is too bad because I just went through and did all of that, but oh well. And ah, the other thing we were working on was choosing the successor and we chose to let the daughter stay with the Chantry. So it says Sister Liliana Monet has always been one of our beloved lay sisters. At your d advice, we urged her to consider a life of service and after hearing the dangers of the game, she has consented to take vows. I truly believe this may have saved her life and I thank you for your advice. Some of our sisters have had luck training Tending wounds caused by demons, thanks to a few new types of healing salve. I have included the details so that your own healers may make use of it. And they sent us some supplies. So that was overall very successful. We opened a lot of stuff. I'll have to look at, into these. Some of them I know, but some of them I are quite new. Volta of Andres Day. Alright, so... We could choose to do Champions of the Just or in Hushed Whispers. I don't think right now we're committing to either the Templars or the uh, Mages. Fingers crossed because I'm not really ready to make that uh, decision. But we know something shady going on with the Mages. But we don't know a whole lot about what's going on with the Champions of the Just. So maybe this is what we'll do. Oh. This is choosing. Never mind. I'm not ready to make that decision. Uh, they've been working tirelessly to convince Coors and win over the, some of Olay's most influential houses. Ten noble families will help with the Inquisition, pressure the Templars into sealing the breach. Traveling there and demanding the Lord Seeker deal with them or face the wrath of Orlay. In Inquisition has promised the Herald of Andraste as its voice in these in negotiations. Ugh. And then Redcliffe Castle and the mages who could close the breed is under the control of a venatory cultist with an unhealthy interest in Lavellan and the power to recover t uh, reorder time itself. He has kindly invited Lavellan to the castle alone to negotiate. It's an obvious trap, but Leliana and her agents can infiltrate the castle and remove the venatory threat while his attention is diverted. It's a dangerous game, but it's our best chance. Oh, so I'm not ready to make that decision. Do you guys have an opinion on who you think we should side with? Should we side with the mages or the Templars? It feels like we have so little information. We know that there if these guys have turned from the, the Chantry. And we know these guys are now under the Venatory. So they've both got their problems. And they're both some pretty bad problems, knowing it. Um, 
I'll also look into the consequences of going with each of them off camera. So instead of doing that, I think I want to work on one of the main quests of the Hinterlands. And I'll try to make sure to take Varric because there is a Varric specific quest on the path from here to here. So let's go ahead and take Varric. As you could see earlier, I was playing with Iron Bowl, uh, Vivian, and Sarah. Just trying to get to know the new characters, make sure they were all set up like I wanted them to be. So, But this time we'll take out Varric. Maybe Varric, Iron Bowl, and... I guess we'll take Vivian out for a little bit longer too. Let's go ahead and go do that. Out of curiosity, do you guys have favorite characters in our group so far? We have Varric, Iron Bull, and Vivian with us. We also have Blackwall, and Sarah, and Solus, Cassandra. There's a lot of them. Is there any you, you guys are really enjoying so far? Any you want us to get to know better? Is there anyone that you think you want to see me romance as we go? Bull! Well, I guess we better revive Bull. Who's hurting him so badly? That guy? Well, I'm gonna get Bull up. You wanna drink a potion there, buddy? Alright, here we are in one of the quests for Varric. We found a shard over here earlier today. Or at least I did. Um, but yes, this here is Red Lyrium. And that's a problem. Take the mosaic piece. Flame. There we go. And let's go ahead and destroy these. Is that just the. Is that what we needed to do? None others? Still a lot here, Varric. But he approved. I hoping he'd have something to say, but I guess not. I also forgot inventory space was a thing I needed to be paying attention to, so I had to destroy a couple things so that I could get home to deal with all of that. Brothers, we must listen to the call of the Maker himself, who has given us the duty to destroy these mages. By the, their rebellion, they have forfeit their right to live. They are not people, and any order that asks us to end this just and righteous battle is a lie. A test sent to, by him to separate the faithful from the foolish. Jo join us off the west road and fight for the worthy cause. Ugh, don't, don't listen to that. That's bad. Which would? Imagine this is where you might find the mages. <laughs> just a thought. Alright, have we gone into this house? Not sure. I do know that we've been over here because there was a rift in that area we just walked through. You guys could attack us. I guess not. Well, I won't attack if I don't have to. Let's claim this. Oh, now they're now they're fighting. Somehow I feel like maybe we're out of our depths and I don't realize it, but doesn't seem like we should be. But everybody's bloody. I think it's cool because if you look at their icon, it might be hard to see. It might be kind of small to you, but their icons on the side, you can see they actually start getting bloodied. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch between them all and make them all drink. Almost all of our resources, but maybe we'll be doing better if we're not all ble bloody. Um... Wow, these guys are magic. Don't know why they fell aboard their dead that way, but... <laughs> Bugs be fun. Ooh, there's another thing to claim over here. 
Ooh, it's a weird looking big snout dog thing. Ooh, and a bear in the in the mouth. I'm gonna say this is where we need to go. So, uh, let's give this a whirl, I guess. This area is full of magical energy. The rebel mages cannot be far. There's a weird shield thing going on. Oof. I wonder if, what level these people are compared to us. I don't even really know what level we are, so. No! No touchy. you little cheaty person. Don't just run away because you're dying. So, uh, we had a we had a potion, so that's what happened here. Well, that's what we got, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, barriers can be destroyed with enough of the opposite type of elemental damage. Fire barriers only be damaged by mage's cold attacks. Hey guys! Well, luckily we have Vivian here who has a ice weapon on. So let's uh get some attacks going on. I'm gonna just stay here because she's fine. Where's Bull's doing all right? Going in there by himself. Man, some of these people are sturdy. Dead, refugees should have an easier time on the King's Road. So I think that actually means because I attacked the Templars earlier. I think that means this area is going to be clear for now. Just super exciting. There's a chest. Everybody leveling up. You guys can just wait till I'm ready. And then this here is what happens because we did all of the star things earlier you know where we look up and we make the we do the puzzle and it shoots out a beam this is what they were unlocking so let's go ahead and here and see what we could see lots of plants to harvest and a chest very nice let's see what's in here a dagger okay cool uh, don't have anyone who uses daggers at the moment, so it's a little inconvenient, but I'm sure it'll be nice once we get them. So this is where those battles were taking place before we came out. Um, the crossroads is through that tunnel when you come out here. And this is usually all on fire. There's a lot of people attacking, but because of the... Um, Clearing out that rebel Templar up there and the rebel mages from over there. I guess they're just calling the rebels of both sides. Um, now it's going to be more peaceful. When we ride through here, we won't get attacked. And we can look through these. See if there's anything we couldn't see because everything was on fire. Poor person. Hopefully someone comes along and buries them soon. Under the protection of the Inquisition. Huzzah! It does mean we won't be getting as much experience from killing people in here, but to be honest, for the most part, I just ran through. Yay, I can lockpick this. Ah, there's a book. And that's about it, I think. There was a shard in... Nope. I've been playing a lot of Fallout 76 and jump is triangle. And that is not what it is in here. I don't know why they gotta go be different and make it hard on me, but whatever. But yeah, there was a shard in that house. 
beforehand. Anything in here? Earth floating, or is it all plants? I can't tell. You doing all right, Bull? I heard you breathing a little hard after the last fight. Mm. Lung exercises. Clearing the stale humors. It's a cune thing. Uh-huh. Hey, some of us have to swing a giant hunk of metal instead of pulling our girlfriend's trigger from the back ranks. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Too close to home. No, no, that, that was good. I should find some way to work that into my next book. All right, but it was my line. You're gonna credit me in the acknowledgments, right? <laughs> Love him. I like Varric. No, no, that was good. That was that was worthy. I want to use it. <laughs> so yes, we've cleared out this area, which is gonna be super nice for traveling. I wonder if I can get up there. I don't think we can. It would be cool if we could, though. Up on that top left, like, excuse me, very up, up there, where that door is. Oof. Almost walked right off the edge on accident. The fact that that room's glowing just makes me want to try to get in there even more. I don't think there's any reason to go up there, or any way to get up there. Anyway, so as you can see, we've restored peace to this little bit of the region. It took a lot of uh, dealing with rebels, but it it turned out good, I think. Uh, it's all really smoky over there. I wonder why. Maybe it's a bunch of dragons. Who knows? Um, so I think that's going to be it for this episode. I've been doing a lot off the off camera, and so it's running a little late for me. So please let me know if you guys have a, a if you'd prefer for us to go through the mages or the Templars, or if you have any favorite setups to travel with. Um, I'd, I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on that. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.